His works happen when we believe His exaltation. John 14, 28 and 29. You have heard me say to you, I am going away and coming back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice because I said, I am going to the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it comes that when it does come to pass, you may believe. Jesus, after he made that amazing pronouncement in John 14, 12, saying, he who believes in me, the works I do, he will do, and even greater works than these, because I go to the Father. In that 14th chapter of John, he mentions several things which are keys for you and me to do the works he did and greater works. And as he continues in that discourse, we come to verses 28 and 29, where Jesus once again reiterates saying, Look, I have told you that I'm going to go away and I'll come back to you. And this should make you really glad because I'm going to the Father who's greater than I. That means he's saying, look, I'm going to be exalted. I'm going to be raised up, resurrected, and I'm going to ascend to the highest place. Be with the Father. Uh, he will have the glory that he once had with the Father before the world was, and he's going to be glorified as, as a part of the deity. So he's saying, you know, this is great news. But he's saying, uh, I'm telling you about it once more, once again, so that when it actually happens, I want you to believe. You know, it is so important for us to understand that in order to do the works of Jesus, we must believe in his exaltation at the right hand of the Father. We must believe that he is seated today as the eternal Word of God, the Lamb of God, uh, the, the one who has overcome all things, the King of Kings, the only potentate, the ruler of all things. We must believe in who he is today, exalted at the right hand of God. And that's what Jesus is saying here. He's saying, I'm talking about this to you one more time. Because when it does happen, I want you to believe. Believe in who Christ is. See, when we believe in how powerful He is, how great He is, and that truly every knee must bow, truly every sickness has been conquered, truly death has been overcome, truly Satan has been crushed. When we believe that because Christ is exalted, He's finished the work, He's at the Father's right hand, then we can move out with confidence as we minister to people. There is no question in our hearts and our minds about the greatness of our God and the greatness of His power and the authority of His name and what He can do in, in, in a given situation. But we must believe that Jesus has gone to the Father, that He is indeed at the Father's right hand. And when we believe that and operate out of that, His works take place through our lives. You know, at one point in John 6, somebody came to Jesus and said, Lord Jesus, what must we do to work the works of God? And Jesus' response was very simple. This is the work of God, that you might believe on the one whom He sent. So saying, very simple. If you want to do the works of God, this is it. Believe the one whom he sent. Believe Jesus. Believe he is who he said he is. Believe who he is today. You and I will do the works of God. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help us, Lord, grow in our faith, in our believing in Jesus Christ, in who he is today, the great one, the exalted one, the eternal one, the miracle worker, the deliverer, the one who works mighty things. Help us to believe so that mighty works will take place through our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.